Trinity B1 ISC1 Four Skills Test CELT Secure English Language Tests B1 English Test ISC1 Skilled Worker Health and Care Worker Scale-Up Worker Student Visas Yes. Can you hear me, sir? Yes, yes. I can hear you. Okay, all right. Let's start with our session for today. I'll start with speaking and listening. Okay? Can you see that? This is the test that you're yes, going yes. to book. Trinity College London, ISC 1B1. Okay. Okay, you can see this? This is for skilled worker, health and care worker, skill up worker, student visas. Yes. <clears throat> so what topic would you like to choose for yourself, like hobbies or for speaking? Because there, in this uh, test, there's a topic that you have to decide. Any anything you want. Uh no, you suggest. I think hobbies is good. Do you have any free time activities? Do you sing things that you like to do? My free time hobbies. Uh, I have so many. Uh, one two uh, free time hobbies: watching TV, watching movie in my free time, and sometimes okay. I'm. Uh, sometime I'm uh making a web websites in my free times i'm a web developer also okay making websites yes more and uh, I, uh, the cooking food in my free time sometime mm. and, and uh, In my free time, going outside. Do you want me to write outdoor activities or going outside? Yes, yes. Do you want me to write? Outdoor, outdoor activities like uh, uh, din, uh, uh, khana khane ke liye baat chale jate I think uh, let's do eating out. out. Let's do eating out. Uh, eating out, yes. yes. And uh, eating out. Mm, Okay, can I try this, for example, if we have these four topics here? The test is only six minutes long, sir. How long it is? Six minutes. Six minutes. Yes, the test is over six minutes. Six minutes. Uh, uh, only speaking. Yes, we have speaking time is only over six minutes. Six minutes. Any, 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 any. Yes. Six minutes for speaking and then 10 to 12 minutes for listening. Okay. So. Ready? Uh, ready. This is Trinity College London, ISC1, B1. My name's Angelina. What's your name? My name is Mubashir Hassan Qureshi. Okay. What's your topic's title for today? Uh, my topic is uh, eating out. When examiner will say, what's your topic's title? Your topic's title is my hobbies. Okay? Uh, my, okay, my hobbies. Uh, when examiner will say, what are your four topic points? You will say watching TV. Making websites, cooking food, eating out. Okay, okay. The examiner also asked the hobby, the, uh, the hobby sub branch, this she asked, yeah, he asked. Hmm. First of all, the, the first question hobbies. What's your topic's title? You will say, My topic's title is hobbies. Can hobbies. I write for okay. you so that you could remember? First question examiner will ask is, what is your topic of title? Topic of title.
title and you can say my uh, my topic of title is or you can say my topic's title whatever is easy for you my topic of uh, title is uh, my my hobbies okay is my hobbies my hobbies then Then examiner will say, yes. what are your four topic points? What are okay. your four topic points? Okay. My four topic points are... Are... Um, my... Four topic points are eating out, watching TV, cooking food, sometimes cooking food and making a website. Sometimes when I put it out, then I do something that you feel good. I love to cook food in my free times. Okay, so cook cooking food, not like this. You just need to tell the four points. Okay. Uh, what are your four topic points? Uh, watching TV, making uh, websites, cooking food, and eating out. Right? Then examiner okay. will ask you more questions for six minutes. Hmm. Once again, can I start? Yes. Okay. This is Trinity College London ISC 1B1. My name's Angelina and I'm your examiner for your spoken exam today for skilled worker visa. What's your full name? My name is Mubashir Hassan Qureshi. What's your topic's title for today? The hobbies, my hobbies. Okay, what are your four topic points? My four topic uh, is the eating out, watching TV, cooking food, and uh, uh, making websites. Okay, uh, how often do you make websites? Uh, Usually, I have work with my clients. Uh, Sometimes they give me websites one in a month, or sometime two in a month. But usually, when I free, I'm making website in my free time uh, uh, every day, one or two hours. I'm giving on uh, on this. Otherwise, uh, I have lot of work in my whole day. 12 are my uh, 10 are my shift and uh, 4 are my journey time so after this i have a time to make a websites only on the weekends saturday and sunday after that uh, in the five days i'm very busy in my work hmm. okay that's what, it mm -hmm. what kind of things do you like to watch on tv uh why <clears throat> i came to see on tv i'm a free time i am some vlog uh vloggers like uh, in pakistani and uh, the other countries the news channels the travel okay. vlogging i like to see the ibrar wildlife Wildness. Mm. He he travel a lot on his bike mm. all the world. Mm. He's very good vlogger. That's why I'm watching this type of vlogging. So I love to travel. Mm -hmm. That's okay. it. 
Okay, all right. Uh, could you please tell me what kind of food do you like to eat out? Mm. Eat out. I love desi foods. I, I always uh, seeking the desi food. I don't like the junk food. I always go outside with my family or with my friends. I always, uh, uh, the Pakistani, typical Pakistani food, I searching for that. I never eat the McDonald's KFC like this. The junk food, like, I always like barbecues, the Afghani, the something else. But especially in Desi. Okay, all right. Um, do you know how to cook? Yes, I know. I cook very well because I live abroad so many years. First of all, I lived four years in Dubai. And after that, uh, I come to London. Do you know uh, the, when you are alone in home, not every day you go outside and eating out, it is not good for your health. It is our necessity to cook inside the house, cook yourself for your good health. Good. Uh, would you rather eat out your favorite food or cook it, cook it at home? Uh, I prefer to cook the food at home. Uh, my favorite food, like uh, the Afghani curry. All right. Uh, how did you learn to make it? How did you make how it? How did you learn to make it? Uh, on, you uh, on YouTube. I learn uh, the cooking through the YouTube every time. So many vloggers, so many vloggers, uh, the cooking channels, so many uh, loggers cooking the uh, cooking uh, tell tell us the cooking methods, the different ways. So which one you like better? You adopt it and make it. Sometimes it's become bad. Sometimes it's very good. We learn a lot. Okay, what kind of restaurants do you like to eat out at? The especially the here in uh, London, so many choices. We have Turkish, we have Afghani, we have Kurdish, Somalian, every kind of food. But I most like the Afghani, and the second one is Turkish food. Thank you, thank you so much. This is the end of part one of the conversation. Okay. Now I will do another conversation with you. This is a topic that is chosen by the examiner and the topic chosen by me is rules at your work. Could you please tell me what are the yes. rules at your work? The first part is for four minutes and you've done a good job. You will get a distinction in your speaking. You're so good. Now we'll have a conversation with each other. We're going to have a small talk and we will be talking about rules at your work. It's a two minutes conversation. I want you to tell me about rules at your work. Okay. Gee, tell me some rules at your work. Uh, my, uh, I'm working as is. Uh, at a time, I'm working two things. Um, mm -hmm. first of all, I'm full full time working as a security door supervisor. At TSS, the my parent company is TSS. I'm work, I'm working at uh, the uh, Primark Kingston. There is very uh, my duty is the secure the store, each and everything. There are a lot of shoplifter, and uh, uh, we secure the all the time. We are standing. Um, we are working with five number of uh, guards there. Uh, and uh, one of the guard standing all the time at the door. We have two doors there. So 
all the time the two guards standing at the door and rest three working inside the store uh, patrolling they saw anything and uh, inform us on the radio and we stop and and ask for the receipts the something they uh, not uh, going out without billing so we stop them and hold the item which one they no paid and the other thing first of all i start our duty morning open the store open the uh, elevators and uh, checking the all the five doors there are so many they, the, we have four floor in the prime market sun we have four floor and there is around 15 to 16 five doors every day when we start job in morning we check all the five doors security alarm then we start our duty and it's too long uh, 10 hour duty after that when we close the store we shut all the doors all the shutters when the primark the e primark uh, staff is going out after finishing his duty we check their stuff also if the managers go the store managers go outside we check the st stuff also he loved to do that uh, i never seen any... like this mm -hmm. are there any rules at I work never... that you would like to change uh not i'm very junior in this field so i'm not supposed to tell you any change i learner of the uh, i start my job uh, around uh, six months before so they have uh, my senior have experience they have a rule i adopted Can you ask me one or two questions about rules at my work? You. I'm asking you. Yes. Uh, please tell me the one or two rules uh, about your work. Mm -hmm. Rule number one is uh, giving answer to all the candidates who are asking through emails or voice messages or messages, like replying to them. That's rule number one. Like immediately I, I try to reply as soon as I can. And rule number two is uh, giving class every day. Mm. Thank you. Only one more, question. one more question. I'm asking one more question to you. Yes. And tell me about your hobbies. About rules at work. About rules. And any other rules about your work. You want to change it. That you want to do this. Mm -hmm. I just want to be able to have more patience. Because not everybody is kind and nice so i think so listening to people even if they have to say something bad i should make this rule to just listen thank you mm -hmm. thank you so much um thank you this is the end of the speaking test and you've passed congratulations thank you now i'm gonna go with the listening task get a paper and a pen for yourself i will be playing some recordings for you uh, this is part one of listening. You're allowed to take notes, yeah? And you would be able to hear the recording twice. Once you've heard, then I'll ask you six questions about the recording. I'm going to play some recording about... I'm going to play a recording about crane flies, okay? I want you to listen to the recording twice and then take your notes. Notes for yourself and then answer six questions. 
ISE 1. Task 1. OK, so what's a crane fly? Does anybody know? In fact, they're often called daddy long legs, and that tells you something about what they look like. They look like rather large mosquitoes, but they've got very, very long legs. Their legs often break off because they're so long and fragile. There are over 14,000 different species of crane fly in the world, but I'm going to concentrate on European crane flies. The adults hatch in September, after they've lived under the ground for almost a year as larvae. That's young insects. If it's been a warm but rainy summer, then you get very high numbers of crane flies. Adult crane flies only live for about two weeks. The female adults lay their eggs under the surface of the soil and the cycle begins again. People think that they're not very useful for anything, but in fact animals such as spiders and birds like them because they can eat them. They're also useful because in their young form they eat dead plants and so they improve the quality of the soil. Now listen again. OK, so what's a crane fly? Does anybody know? In fact, they're often called daddy long legs, and that tells you something about what they look like. They look like rather large mosquitoes, but they've got very, very long legs. Their legs often break off because they're so long and fragile. There are over 14,000 different species of crane fly in the world, but I'm going to concentrate on European crane flies. The adults hatch in September, after they've lived under the ground for almost a year as larvae. That's young insects. If it's been a warm but rainy summer, then you get very high numbers of crane flies. Adult crane flies only live for about two weeks. The female adults lay their eggs under the surface of the soil and the cycle begins again. People think that they're not very useful for anything, but in fact animals such as spiders and birds like them because they can eat them. They're also useful because in their young form they eat dead plants and so they improve the quality of the soil. I will ask you some questions about crane flies. Yes. I see. The recording played once or twice. I think once only. Listen to it Maybe one twice. more time. Okay, play twice. twice. Okay. Okay. Uh, could you please tell me one? What do crane flies look like? The flies look like. Uh, the bigger than the mosquitoes the with the long legs how many species of crane fly are there in the world 14000 species when do adult crane flies hatch? Uh, uh, warm rainy season. For how long do adult crane flies live? Sorry. For how long do adult crane flies live? Again, sorry. For how long do adult crane flies live? Fourteen thousand? No, no, no. Eat them. I don't they know. live for two weeks, sir. Which animals eat crane flies? 
Only two weeks they live. Which animals eat crane flies? I only the word of note, I'm making the note only the animal. The, I missed that two, three, two, I think. Okay. Can you tell me what do young crane flies eat? Ah, your last part, the eat them. I missed that also. Okay, no problem. Let me play one more for you. Okay, now this time I'll play twice. Take your notes carefully. Okay, you need to get at least three answers correct. I'm going to play a recording about Andre Matisse. Listen. How to many questions are my, my question is only two. Two questions is correct, am I? Correct. Yes, two correct. Okay, you need to get three correct actually. So. I'm going to play a recording about uh -oh, play a recording about Burlington Arcade. Listen to the recording and tell me, and then I will ask you six questions. ISC one, task one. The oldest shopping centre in London is the Burlington Arcade. It's a narrow street with a roof and small shops on either side. The shops sell mainly expensive things, such as handmade shoes and jewellery. A very rich man built it in 1819. He wanted to build a shopping street next to his large house because people were throwing rubbish into his garden. But this soon stopped them. It's very quiet and peaceful in the arcade, and this is because there are some very strange rules. For example, you can't carry large objects, play a musical instrument, run or sing. Also, you can't open an umbrella. The Beatles, who are a kind of private police force, walk up and down the arcade. They have to wear long coats and tall black hats. If you break the rules, the Beatles can make you go outside. You need a lot of money to shop in the arcade. Four million visitors come to the arcade every year, but most of them don't buy anything. They just like to look around and have a quiet break. Now listen again. The oldest shopping centre in London is the Burlington Arcade. It's a narrow street with a roof and small shops on either side. The shops sell mainly expensive things, such as handmade shoes and jewellery. A very rich man built it in 1819. He wanted to build a shopping street next to his large house because people were throwing rubbish into his garden. But this soon stopped them. It's very quiet and peaceful in the arcade, and this is because there are some very strange rules. For example, you can't carry large objects, play a musical instrument, run or sing, also, you can't open an umbrella. The Beatles, who are a kind of private police force, walk up and down the arcade. They have to wear long coats and tall black hats. If you break the rules, the Beatles can make you go outside. You need a lot of money to shop in the arcade. Four million visitors come to the arcade every year, but most of them don't buy anything. They just like to look around and have a quiet break. Okay, um, now I'll ask you some questions about Burlington Arcade. Yes, sure. What can you buy in the Burlington Arcade? Shoes and jewelry, very expensive are they. Uh, when was the Burlington Arcade built? Nine, 1890. Okay, and uh, why did the rich man build the Burlington Arcade? Uh, because uh, he wanted to, uh, in front of the house, there is so many garbage. That's why he built. What is one of the rules of the arcade? You don't carry the big object and uh, uh, loud music. Uh, 
can't open the umbrellas. What happens if you break a rule in Burlington Arcade? The security, the security person kick out. How many people visit the Burlington Arcade every year? More than 4 million. That is correct, sir. Now I'm going to play another recording. This is part two of listening. In this part of the test, uh, you're going to listen to a recording and uh, not take any notes. Once you've, once you've uh, heard, I would ask you, and tell me in few words, what is this recording about, okay? Just in few words. Uh, I'm not making up notes right now. No notes, yes. ISE 1, task 2. Color films are older than you think. Did you know that even some silent movies were made in color? One of the most popular films of all time was a silent movie called A Trip to the Moon. It was made in France in 1902. The film is a story about a group of people who fly to the moon and meet strange insects living there. Most films at this time were only in black and white, but A Trip to the Moon was special. It was sent to Paris to be made into a colour film. To make it colour, each part of the film had to be painted with coloured paints and brushes. It took 200 people to finish the work. For a long time, people thought that this film was lost. But in 1993, a copy of it was found. You can now see the film in colour in a museum in Spain. Can you please tell me in few words what is this recording about? Sir, could you please tell me in few words what is this recording about? Uh, this movie uh, regarding the notes uh, uh, about the this movie about the uh, about the who go the moon the black and white movie the uh, uh, there is no voice that this movie is uh, also in black and white uh, in uh, very old movies. This movie is making for the who go the in space. I can't, which I understand. I think. Thank you. Now listen again and take your notes. You're allowed to write your notes now. Once you've heard the recording, then you have to tell me six things about the recording. Let's listen. ISE one. Task 2. Colour films are older than you think. Did you know that even some silent movies were made in colour? One of the most popular films of all time was a silent movie called A Trip to the Moon. It was made in France in 1902. The film is a story about a group of people who fly to the moon and meet strange insects living there. Most films at this time were only in black and white, but A Trip to the Moon was special. It was sent to Paris to be made into a colour film. To make it colour, each part of the film had to be painted with coloured paints and brushes. It took 200 people to finish the work. For a long time, people thought that this film was lost. But in 1993, a copy of it was found. You can now see the film in colour in a museum in Spain. Now 
Now, could you please tell me six facts about the recording? I will tell you six points of the recording. I will tell you. So you, yes, will, you will ask me. You will tell me by yourself. The silent movie, the older than the color movies, one. This movie is made for the who the fly to the moon. The first time this movie is made, 1992, 1902, and uh, it's made in Paris. And uh, the one point is uh, the 600, pe 600 people making for this movie. And the one point is 19... Three, I don't know what is this. Okay, that's fine. Keep going. And uh, the they're making the movie through the brushes, color, color. Uh, they're coloring the uh, with the uh, uh, brush. Okay, very nice. Can I ask you some more follow-up questions about it? I will ask you one or two more questions about the color films. Mm, yeah. Could you please tell me about some silent films made in color? Could you please tell me uh, when was the first film found? 92. Okay, and where can you see the film now? In Paris. Okay. Uh, how many people painted the film? 600 people. Not 600, sir. I think the all the answer is wrong now. You need to take no, no, no. Earlier they were all right, but uh, 1993 is also wrong. You said 1902. I think you should work on this, sir, because the information that you give me for listening that's not okay. Like answers to the questions, but the uh, six points were good. Mm. You have passed your listening, by the way. Speaking is a distinction, listening is a merit. 